Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be plummeting the Devil Fruit Encyclopedia into the chilly depths of the Hear Hear No Me. The Hear Hear No Me is a Logia type fruit that allows its user to conjure, manipulate, and become ice. It was eaten by Kuzan, formerly known as Marine Admiral Alkiji, formerly known as Vice Admiral Kuzan, and currently known as, my god, does he look like he's related to Brook? And the fruit was first debuted in the series during the Long Ring Long Land arc. The fruit takes its name directly from the Japanese onomatopoeia, Hear Hear, which means feeling chilly or cold. As a result, the Viz manga translation decided to label it as the Chili Chili Fruit in English, not to be confused with the other non canon Chili Chili Fruit that was ever so briefly mentioned in the the SBS of Volume 7 that allegedly gives the user the ability to tell bad jokes. And is a piece of information so obscure that I'm not entirely sure why I decided to share it here, but yeah, here we are. In any case, Funimation avoids this obscure confusion completely as they opted to dub it as the Ice Ice Fruit. All right, so what's the first thing I usually like to highlight about Logia powers? It's that they make their users intangible. However, the Hia Hia no Mi is a bit of a rare case due to the nature of ice being a very solid physical substance. And as such, the user of the Hia Hia no Mi becomes one of the very few Logia users who can still be hit by attacks that have no Haki or Sea Stone enhancement. I mean, those attacks still won't exactly do any damage because the user can just reform their icy, icy body, but it is an intriguing point to note. In regards to the ice itself, the user of the Hia Hia no Mi appears to be able to conjure a simply absurd amount of it without any visible drawbacks. However, it should be stated that this may be due to the exceptional combat prowess and high stamina of its user in the series Kuzan. But unfortunately, that's all we've really got to go off. But in addition to simply creating mass quantities of ice, the user also has the ability to freeze anything in which they make physical contact with. Meaning that the user can pretty much one-shot the large majority of weaker opponents, although it is also undeniably effective against powerful foes as well, as demonstrated in the series when the ice time technique was used against Don Quixote Do Flamingo, although the heavenly demon did eventually make his way out of the icy imprisonment. However, a very exciting note is the fact that this freezing ability essentially allows the user of the Hia Hia no Mi to counter the primary negative effect of consuming a devil fruit, which is the loss of the ability to swim. Should the user of the Hia Hia no Mi find themselves in a compromising position near water, then they simply need to freeze it and it's all good in the hood. Not only that, but the Hia Hia no Mi can be invoked on an absolutely massive level with the Ice Age technique to freeze great stretches of ocean, and it's even powerful enough that it can remain solid for over a week. Furthermore, excessive use of the Hia Hia no Mi also apparently has the potential to change the climate of entire islands as demonstrated by Punk Hazard, which played host to a 10 day battle featuring the fruit, and as a result, half of the island is now a permanent frozen wasteland. And with that, let's take a look at how the Hia Hia no Mi is generally wielded by the ever-powerful Kuzan, and it mostly manifests itself in combat. Kuzan is, for lack of a better word, a pretty chill kind of guy, and as a result, he will generally not go out of his way to use the fruit aggressively. Rather, he prefers to invoke the powers to swiftly immobilize opponents and return to his lazy state of being. Although Kuzan does favor using the fruit to craft weapons such as swords or pole arms by freezing the air around him, providing a wealth of options for attacking at distance as well. However, Kuzan's most common use of the fruit is rather simply for travel. Unlike most people in the One Piece world, Kuzan has no need to sail through it, and instead he chooses to ride a bike throughout the Grand Line by freezing a narrow path of ocean directly in front of him. And rather sadly, Kuzan also has another very basic invocation of the fruit, which is to create a prosthetic leg out of ice, which became necessary after he was gravely injured during his battle against Sakazuki on Punk Hazard. All right, speaking of Punk Hazard, look, with Logia fruits, I usually steer clear of the awakening section because we have nothing but speculation in regards to them, unlike Paramecia or Zoan types. However, in this case, I'd like to briefly discuss the possibilities because there is, you know, a semi-decent theory out there, that an Awakens Logia could result in the ability to permanently change one's environment, just as the Hia Hia no Mi did on Punk Hazard. And should that be accurate, it could also go a long way to explaining a lot of the insanity of the Grand Line in general. For example, that island that's constantly being struck by lightning could be the result of someone using the Awakened abilities of the Gora Gora no Mi in the past. Once again, all pure speculation, but I did want to finally touch on it. Some other miscellaneous things to consider when becoming a freezing human. If you are so artistically inclined, the Hia Hia no Mi opens up a whole new realm of possibilities in regards to crafting ice sculptures. It has been shown in the series that a skilled user can produce incredibly detailed forms, which have the bonus of being able to be used in combat as well. Consumption of this fruit also makes the user essentially immune to freezing temperatures, and thus allows them to comfortably reach parts of the world that would more than likely kill your average person. And finally, as I'm sure you were all wondering, yes, it was confirmed in an SBS that the user of the Hia Hia no Mi is entirely capable of conjuring fingernails out of ice with a technique known as ice 
thumbnail. But really what we have on display here is a pretty damn enviable low gear fruit. Not only can the user become an element, but that element offers a handy counter to the core weakness of consuming devil fruits in general. The fruit also has incredible combative potential and a disgusting amount of wider usage in pretty much every aspect of daily life. Phenomenal fruit, highly recommended. And with that, we are going to commit the here, here, no me to the devil fruit encyclopedia. Next week, we will be launching into the wonderful world of Water 7 to examine the first of several fruits held by Cypherpol, the Doa Doa no Mi. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. Also do check out my Teespring store if you're interested in shirts, hoodies, and other miscellaneous items with the proceeds going directly to support the channel as well. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on the here, here, no me. This has been the Grand Line Review and I'll see you next time.